Hello, NCAC sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in the NCAC. I'm your host, Brett Billhart. On this week's show, we'll celebrate the achievements of those winter sports student-athletes who are named NCAC Athletes of the Week in their respective sports for the week ending on Sunday, February the 9th. We'll open this week's show by recognizing our weekly award winners on the hardwood in both men's and women's basketball. In men's basketball, the weekly honor went to Wittenberg senior Zach Leahy, who helped lead the Tigers to a pair of road wins last week against number 13 Ohio Wesleyan 66-55 and Oberlin 70-63. The six-foot guard from Rossford, Ohio, scored a career-high 27 points against Owu after shooting 11-14 of 14 from the field, which included drilling five of six three-point attempts. He then added 16 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, and 2 steals in the 7-point win over Oberlin on Saturday. On the week, Leahy scored 43 points, pulled down 9 rebounds, and dished out 5 assists while, sh while also shooting 63% from the field and 58% from beyond the arc. And with just 2 weeks left in the regular season schedule, Number 11, Worcester, has regained sole possession of first place in the men's basketball standings with a 12-2 record against league foes, while number 13, Ohio Wesleyan, and number 22, Wittenberg, are tied for second at 11-3. DePaul is fourth at 10-4, and, and Kenyon is alone in fifth at 7-7. Seven seven. League play does continue this week, with five games each on Wednesday and Saturday, highlighted by Wittenberg hosting DePaul on Wednesday and Worcester entertaining our rival Wittenberg on Saturday. In women's basketball, the weekly award this week went to Ohio Wesleyan junior Sarah McQuaid, who helped elevate the Battling Bishops into second place in the NCAC standings following a pair of wins last week against Worcester 72-67 and Kenyon 71-54. McQuaid, a native of Dublin, Ohio, and a graduate of Kaufman High School, paced Owu on the week with 21 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. In the win over Worcester, McQuaid shot 3 of 5 from the field and 4 of 5 from the free throw line to finish the game with 10 points. She then hit 4 of 5 shot attempts, including 3 of 4 from beyond the arc, to finish with 11 points in the win over Kenyon. On the week, McQuaid scored 21 points on just 10 shot attempts as she shot 70% from the field, 60% from three-point range, and 58% from the free throw line. And with two weeks left in the women's basketball season, the nation's top-ranked team, DePaul, has clinched its third straight NCAC title as the Tigers currently boast a perfect 13-0 record against NCAC foes with three games to play. Denison and Ohio Wesleyan are tied for second place at 9-4, while Kenyon and Wittenberg are tied for fourth with identical 7-5 records against league foes. There are nine women's games on the schedule this week, beginning with last night's makeup contest where Denison upended Oberlin 60-51. The week continues with four games each on Wednesday and Saturday. Games of note this week include Kenyon hosting Denison on Wednesday and Ohio Wesleyan entertaining Allegheny on Saturday. And we'll now step into the starting blocks and recognize our weekly award winners on the indoor track and field circuit. The first men's award for field events went to Worcester's Matt Margita, who posted a pair of strong performances at Denison's Bob Shannon Invitational. The sophomore thrower from Hudson, Ohio, finished fourth in the shot put with a toss of 48 feet, two and three quarter inches, and also placed 11th in the weight throw with a heave of 42 feet, six and three quarter inches. The men's award for distance events went to Oberlin sophomore Joshua Urso, who helped guide the Yeoman to the team title at their own Crimson and Gold Invitational. Urso, a resident of Washington, Pennsylvania, and a graduate of Trinity High School, took first in the 800-meter run with a time of 1.57.80 and also anchored the winning 4x400-meter relay that crossed the line first in 3.34.48. 
The final men's award for sprint and hurdle events went to Denison sophomore sprinter Quentin, Quentin Richards, who reset his own school record in the 60-meter dash at DU's own Bob Shannon Invitational. Richard, who resides in Franklin, Ohio, shaved one thousandth of a second off his school record in the 60-meter dash by finishing second overall in the event with a time of 7.01 seconds. Richards also placed fourth in the 200-meter dash with a personal best time of 23.27 seconds. And the first woman's award this week for field events went to Ohio Wesleyan junior thrower Megan Gentile, who helped guide the Bishops to the team title at DU's Bob Shannon Invitational. Gentile, a native of Newton, Massachusetts, won the shot put with a throw of 40 feet, 7 and 1 half inches, and also added a second place showing in the weight throw with a toss of 46 feet, 11 and 1 half inches. The weekly award for distance and middle distance events went to Ohio Wesleyan sophomore Abby Worth, who ran the lead leg on the record-setting distance medley relay squad at the Hillsdale Wide Track Classic in Michigan. Worth, a resident of Maslin, Ohio, and a graduate of Tuslaw High School, set the pace for OU's distance, distance medley relay team that finished fifth overall with a school record time of 12.02.77. The time broke the previous school benchmark of 12.15.53 set in the 2007 season. And the final weekly award for women's indoor track and field for sprint and hurdle events went to Denison senior Tiffany Davis, who had another record-setting day at DU's Bob Shannon Invitational. Davis, a senior from Nashville, Tennessee, captured the award for the second time this season after she reset her own Mitchell Fieldhouse record in the 200-meter dash with a winning time of 25.58. The senior sprinter also placed second in the 60-meter dash with a time of 7.91 seconds. NCAC indoor track and field squads will return to the circuit this weekend led by the Ohio-based squads traveling to Otterbein University in Westerville, Ohio for the annual All-Ohio Championships. And finally, the 2014 NCAC Swimming and Diving Championships will be held this week, February 12th through the 15th, at the Trumbull Aquatic Center on the campus of Denison University in Granville, Ohio. The meet will begin with the men's 3-meter diving event on Wednesday, February 12th at 7 p.m. And the meet then continues with full-day schedules Thursday through Saturday. Preliminary sessions will begin each morning at 10 a.m. with finals set to begin in the evenings at 6.30 p.m. The facility will be open to spectators 90 minutes prior to the first event of each session. A complete school-by-school -school preview of the event is available on the NCAC website, and the official championship site is also available on the swimming and diving pages of the NCAC website, as well as on denisonbigred.com. And fans, as always, for up-to-date news, stats, and standings from around the North Coast Athletic Conference, you can log on to our website at www.northcoast.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at NCAC, as well as like us on Facebook. And for the entire conference staff, I'm Brett Bilhart, and thanks for watching.